Hello, this is Dimitri with uh, UKids LLC, uh, UGears US. Uh, today we're going to be doing the assembly of uh, one of the newer models. Uh, well, always a new model that I'm assembling, uh, cash register. So uh, this one should be a fairly uh, quick assembly. Now we got about uh, 405 parts. So we'll see how long it's going to take us. But it does another another model from you gears to keep your money so uh safe and sound unfortunately it's not uh, waterproof not uh fireproof not brake proof but it is an exciting model uh, as you can see my packaging was a little bit damaged in shipping uh, which is okay usually the models are okay because they're hard plywood and we have some boards here we got some rubber bands um, of course uh, wax is included in there uh, you got a little sandpaper and um, instructions manual on the back along with the boards uh, or on the back of the boards. So I'm just going to take this plastic off just to keep your boards uh, in a nice condition. Uh, and I'm going to put them on the side. All right, so uh, let's go quickly through the manual. As always, there is uh, do not burn the candle. This is uh, actually a candle. There is a wick in the center of it, uh, unless they change the manufacturing, but <laughs> just a simple candle wax. Uh, and then we go through some, some syllables. When you see this, uh, you do need to wax the part. Exclamation points, you need to pay attention, obviously. Um, cutting, uh, break off. Rather than breaking out the part, uh, recommended is to cut it out or if you need to slice the part, I use the X-Acto knife. Um, and then uh, if you see this simple, obviously it's a symmetrical. Uh, there is a list of spare parts that are on the boards. Uh, so if they break or uh, shear off or something, you can use those. And uh, obviously if you do need a replacement, you can contact us um, at uh, info at ugears.us. And uh, if uh, you have purchased the model from us, I uh, will sh we'll ship it at no charge. If the model was, was purchased elsewhere, uh, we can either uh, request on your behalf uh, the part from the manufacturer, which is also going to be free, but it will take some time. Or uh, we can uh, ship it to you for a small shipping fee at $3.50. Well, uh, all that information is available on my website, ugears.us. Uh, and uh, let's continue with the assembly. So the first, uh, uh, on page number three, uh, on board number one, top right corner, you have part H, which is a helping tool to push the smaller parts out. So we're gonna start with that, get that out, and start with the assembly. Alrighty, so uh, here's some exclamation points and showing how to push the parts out just as an example using the tool um all right so step number one we need part number one which is a board one and obviously the boards are shown in the top left corner and then we need part number two which is on the same on the left side of the board and parts number three there is a small cluster of those right here and that's where i'm going to use the tool so we need to push three of those out just to get them might require a little bit of a pressure and put the spare ones on the side so we need to put uh parts number three go into the two usually uh i try to follow the the way that it's shown on the picture sometimes it's uh slightly different for the assembly and you might not be able to fit the part exactly but uh, most of the time it's exactly the way it's shown so uh, just for the ease of the assembly or ease of explanation uh, we're gonna do how it's shown on the picture so you do part number two uh, and that goes from this side when the uh, tab is away from you. So it's gonna go uh, right into the three holes closer to the bottom of part number one. So I'm just gonna leverage your 
against the table to push that in completely to make sure it's nice and part number three are not visible and turn that uh, piece around for step number two where we need insert part number four and two more of number threes which are used as the connection connectors and part number four is also on board number one in the top right corner uh, just a little point when you push the parts out my recommendation personal is to push from the front to the back obviously the front where the number is in correct orientation uh, on the back it's backwards um, so from front to back when it's a part part is by itself if the part is internal to another part i recommend it to push it from the other direction because uh, you'll pull the fibers in the direction of the pull so when you pull it from here they're gonna stay on the board if you pull it from the other side they may actually pull from the um, part itself so it's not gonna look good and also compromise the uh, integrity of the part so uh, let's see step number two we insert the parts number three into four and then we put the four uh, to part number one with a little offset switching over to page number five step number three that would be also uh board number one we need part number five in the top right corner and in the same corner you'll find part number six so that one's easier to pull out and let's see so this is symmetrical so it doesn't matter and that goes right into the first hole in the little cluster here uh, first one on the bottom uh, let's see just like this so you have that part moving up and down is as there's going to be a little bit of a movement i put a little bit of a wax on the surface of part number one just to give it and on the other surface of part number five just so it'll be a smoother rotation there all right and the next step is uh step number four part number seven which is on board number one on the right hand side right in the middle there and that one obviously with the larger tab inserting in the hole right in the middle of that part number one from the same side as we just did our assembly of parts number six so five and six just like this and we're done this is our subassembly a1 moving on to the page number six now this is going to be our locking mechanism subassembly here's an example of different codes that you can use uh 111 123 234 you can use 431 etc so uh the way that uh, you determine the codes will go in a little bit later so part number eight and nine that's step number one so the first eight and part number nine is the long rod nine goes into the eight with the little hook facing towards the back with the tab uh, and then we need part number 10 and 11 uh, they're all on board number one we got part number 10 and part number 11 so 10 goes on first all the way to the back and part number 11 make sure the orientation is the one is the way it's shown on the instructions and then we need part number 12 which is right here right at the center of the board and we do need to wax that part so just apply a little bit of a wax and put it over all the way to the end 
Uh, next one is part number 13, a little bit to the left of this center line. There is a directionality arrow and we use that. So the hole is towards the top, which wouldn't matter much right now, but the hole is towards the top and the directionality should go clockwise direction. And then you kind of slide it onto the part number 12 because there's got a little lock locks on there. And let's see, we'll line it up. And then uh, part number 14, and that's when we determine the code that you want to use. So part number 14 has little holes or slots there. So there's a one, two, three, and four. So that's your numbers, right? I mean, that's how you can distinguish what code you're using. And so obviously if you want one, 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 you do, all these are facing in the direction that is shown. So you need to face it towards the uh, your top left, kind of like a little diagonal, right, right in this area. So um, let's see, uh, I'll be a little bit different and I wanna do the instructions and I'll do four, three, one as an example. So we do four, in that direction once again see it's facing top left then we do number 11 and 10 again number 11 and 10 both of them on board number one Eleven first, 10 second and then part number 12, don't forget to wax it. And then part number 13 over it in step five. Just hold towards the top, kind of like wiggle it a little bit onto the part number 12. And then our part number 14, what did I say? 431. So I'm going to do the three hole next. And then 11, 10, and 12. Eleven's got a little tab. Ten. Wax on number twelve. Moving on to the page number nine or seven, sorry. Step number seven, page number seven, parts number thirteen and fourteen. Once again, same thing air clockwise wiggle the part onto the 12 and then uh, we got one right so like one slot facing the same direction and then we lock it with the 11 10 and number eight Once again, everything needs to face the same direction as did uh, in the beginning. And eight. And make sure the other side doesn't fall out. <laughs> and all that sub assembly goes on to part number 15. So 15 is also on the same board number one on the bottom left. Uh, now we make sure that tab is facing you and then we insert that sub assembly right in the center holes right here that are perpendicular to you or perpendicular to the axis. One tab at a time, just uh, align it. And 
and get it all the way in. Make sure there is nothing sticks out. Just like that. Turn it around. And step number 10, part number 16. 16 is also on the left hand side of board number one. With that little tab facing towards you, I mean to, towards the right side. And then that gets inserted onto these two tabs right here through the rectangular holes. Make sure it fits. And then part number 17 in step number 11, also on the same board, bottom right. We would go right over part number 16. Put the tab towards the top, locking it in. All the way in, making sure we're still recording, moving on to the page number eight. And we need a little rubber band. Uh, I think it's the tiniest of all of them, 12 millimeter, which is gonna be this guy right here. That's a 12 millimeter. And we put it on that little tab here and two tabs at the top, joining them together. And we're done with the A2. So put that on the side for a second. Step number one on page eight, right in the middle there. We need part number 18, which is now we're moving to board number two. 18 is the top left right here, the long big piece. And then we need parts number 19 and 20. So uh, 19 and 20 top right, 20 is the one on the right. And then 19s are right in the center there. Now 20 has a little hook right here. So that one goes in the center. We need to make sure we put it the right way. So you got that little two tabs facing to the left, one tab facing to the right. And your number 20 is going to go right in the center here, right below that tab. That's where the 20 goes in. And then 19, the second from the right. And then the other 19, third from the left. Make sure you insert it the correct direction. And as we completed that, pardon, A2 with the rubber band facing to the left, that long tab to the right, we insert on these two holes. Right on the tabs. Just like this. Now it's all set. In step number three, we bring our part A1 subassembly, turn it around so the tab is facing away from you, and we insert that large portion, that large tab, into the slot, move it towards left, moving on to the next page, uh, nine, and then there is like a little a hole, that first hole, and the tab in part number one. So we put it on to right onto that tab. Try to wiggle it around, make sure you don't break that sub assembly. And then that this this part also it gets pretty much inserted into the slots here. Squeeze these together and you get your assembly. Next step is part number. Let's double check what we so. Yeah, so that's, uh, just went through that. You need to put it onto that tab. That's one, and then step two is this part, sub assembly. So now we need part number 21, which is also on, uh, actually on board number one, on the right-hand side on the bottom there. And that gets inserted right into this hole right here. It's gonna be a little behind that sub assembly. So you just put it in there. 
as far as it can go. And that's going to be our A3. Completed page number 9. Moving on to the page number 10. I'm going to put that aside. Now we need part number 22 on board number 2. Bottom right here. Right in the center. That large piece. And then parts number 23. Uh, those are going to be still on board number 1. Right in the bottom right hand corner there. So we need all 4 of them. Pull them out. And they go into the following holes. So we'll... Uh, Make sure the part, these little cutout facing to the right. And we're gonna go, so we need to put one into the hole right here. So there's a circle, there three holes around it, or more than three, but the third hole to go around. Then the next one's gonna be right here at the center, right at the, almost at the center line. Uh, next one right here below that circle not sure how to explain it, but you guys can see where I'm inserting it. And then the fourth one right at the bottom here. Four locations. Make sure they fit all the way in. Moving on to the step number two. We need part number 26. 24, 25, 26, and 27. It looks like they're all on board number one. And so we start with the 24. And that's going to be right here, the, a little bit to the right of the center line. Uh, part number 25 in the top right corner. And part number 26 is right here at the bottom. So that's what we're starting off with. We do need to, oh, and I need 27. So they're at the top right. So I need one of those right now. There's a one spare just in case. So 25 is the larger one. Uh, there is a little connection point. So I use my, you can use the sandpaper, but I use my um, little precision file. And same thing on the 27, just to take out those connection points and make sure that's uh, almost perfectly round. I will wax both parts. And we also, of course, need to wax the gear number 26. So you want to wax these little gears here. Reducing the friction. All right, so part number 24. I'm going to go 25 right into the 26. And 27 is going to be on the... And just like this. And step number three, we insert it from the same direction where we just inserted numbers 23. Uh, the hole that is second on the bottom with the long piece sticking out on the other side. Uh, moving to page number 11 and then turning that subassembly around, we need one more number 26. And one more, number 27. That's a second or third 27 that's a spare, so I can put it aside. Just for the future. And uh, same as before, I'm going to send it a little. Put wax around it. And wax onto the gear number 26. Push the gear in and lock it with number 27. Squeeze them tight. And that should rotate nice and easy around its axis. Probably would be a good idea to wax the uh, surfaces there, but it looks like it's working fine, so we're good to go. I don't need to disassemble it. Uh, now, it's step number five, we need three parts, number 28. They're on the center and to the right on the board, on the bottom of the board number one. And then part number 29 is uh, also on the right-hand side, closer to the bottom there. 
Now the these uh, three parts they're gonna go around this hull right here. So it's kind of like a little, I guess, peace sign. Insert numbers twenty-eight, and then number twenty-nine right over them. Just lining up the tabs and squeezing it right on the tabs not to break that port number 29. And that's our B1. So we completed step number five on page number 11. Moving on to page number 12. I'm gonna put that aside for now. All right, so our uh, page number 12, step number one, we need part number 30 on board number three. Uh, right at the center here, part number, we can take one board out, and uh, so there's going to be 31 through 30, through 40, all right, then I'm going to push these out, they're easy identifiable as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, so you can uh, take them out completely without being afraid that you're gonna use the wrong part number and now as we did need to look at part number 30 there's that little tab inside here and there is a little dash right here one dash and there is a two dash here so one will go self-explanatory hopefully so number one is gonna go into the whole with the dash with one dash and part number uh, i mean the part number 32 which is number two i'm gonna go with the two dashes and then you continue along the cir uh, circle you got three four five six pay attention six is marked with the dot Seven, eight, nine's marked with a dot also, and then zero. And make sure you insert the zero the proper way because those tabs are a little bit offset, so you get the correct tab in there. So now you're done with that step number one. Now step number two, we need, we put it aside. We need part number 43, 42, and 41. So uh, here's our 42. 43 is gonna be on board number two. Top left right here. These two are 43 with a little dot. A little hole there that's the identification uh, so we got our 42 43 and then now we need 41s there's a bunch of 41s right on the center to the right above the middle line so we need three of those use my helping tool to get these out now uh, exclamation point so we need to pay attention one dash two dashes Let's push forward once through these holes from the back. So make sure the tabs are not vertical but horizontal. Not normal to the center. Turn it back around so once again we see the dashes. Um, Part number 43, gonna go with that little tab that needs to go right in between these, uh, or close to these two little dashes. And we just put over it. Uh, and then we do need to wax. Should have waxed it before, but not a big deal. I'm gonna wax it while it's on part number 42. 
we need to wax part number 42 also according to instructions in uh, step number three so just all around and then with that little tab dashes should go also into one and two for the numbers and then slowly squeeze all around until you lock it completely so your drum number one is complete step number four you need part number 44 which is on the bottom uh, left there of board number two carefully pull that part out it's more fragile same thing wax all around all the gears Now wax, uh, most of the time, 99% of the time, it is included in a box. Occasionally it's not there. In case if it's not, my personal selection would be uh, tea light candles uh, purchased at Ikea. And there's like a hundred of them for like two bucks. They work very well. Now, uh, here there's like a little teeth inside. Those teeth should face counterclockwise and that's the way we put it over our sub assembly and as you rotate it you're gonna hear a little clicking sound and then you can't rotate it the other way that's our b2 put it on the left or on the right put it aside step number one on page number 12 on the bottom here uh, part number 46 uh, which is on board number two we're here at the top there are two of them uh, we need to wax in between here board number 45 back to uh, number three then parts number 41 back to two Use your helping tool to get the 41s out. We need three of those again. Now with the dashes facing you, we insert the 41s right in the middle. From the side you're facing the dashes. So it goes on the inner circle. And then 46 gonna go from the back with that little uh, slot matching the slot on the gear and then the hole facing the hole here so lock it up and then we're numbers at numbers again 31 through 30 through 40. Then the same thing, one with one dash, two with two, and then continue three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Next step, moving on to page number 13, part number 42, 43 on board number 2, uh, and then 41s, three of them again. We go from the back once again. A 
wax the 43 while it's still not attached wax 42 and let's see dashes for a little, little tab right in between there another indication is these two little holes matching and we're done and that goes on that little drum once again one and two matching the little dashes just like that and then part number 44 bottom left of board number two and same thing little wax exclamation point to make sure the teeth are correct direction counterclockwise and kind of slide it on just like that that's our b3 put it aside step number one on the bottom start with Part number 46, we're back on board number two. And I might as well pull three of the 41s out. Two extras just in case. A little plus sign next to them. I will not need them. 45 from board number three, bottom. wax that little tab there 41's from the front and then 46 from the back hole and the little slot are matching lining up squeeze them together numbers again on board number And same thing, one with one dash, two with two, and so on, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Get these inserted. Step number three, part number 47 on the bottom here, bottom right of port number three, parts number 48. And those are on the same board on the right hand side here. So with a little tabs, these little tabs, kind of like offset, so they need to be closer to the inside of that uh, Part number 47 so once again let's look for the dashes dashes facing you and then 48 is inserted from that side with the little tab closer to the center of that little cylinder circle whatever you want to call it got these in page number 14 Next step is part number 49 on board number two. That was number two numbers, the 43s and 49. So make sure you use the correct parts. Little wax all around. And that part goes, make sure your dashes match in the little tab. It's gonna go offset on these parts number 48 right onto that drum and then same thing dashes matches one and two let's 
squeeze that drum all around. And that's our B4. Next step, we need part number 50. Step number one on page number 14 on the top right hand corner. Uh, part number 50 is on board number two. It's a long piece right here. There's some dashes on here. And then we need 51, 52, and 51. And those guys are 251s. And 152. We will send 52 a little bit. And connection points on 51s. Just for the smoother operation. And we do need to uh, wax it a little bit. All around. Alright, and then uh, now we need to pay attention on here, so 50, these little two dots or slashes facing away from you, there's a little step and short piece closer to you, and that's the side you're inserting the 51s and 52s from. Now, that little step on here, facing counterclockwise direction. And you push it all the way in as far as it can go, almost to the center there. 52 and then 51 once again with the same little step or tooth facing counterclockwise direction. Step number two points out that these little dashes on the part number 50 and 51 they should kind of like match That's that will indicate that you went as far as you can go There might be like a little step a connection point You might want to wax it a little bit if you can't push it all the way in now. We start with the B4 Which is the one with the offset and then uh, let's see And I guess as far as it can go on to the not past well it can't really go past but as far as it can go right and then you lock it with number 53 and 54 so 54 is 53 is right about the long 50 and 54 is to the left right here of that big opening both of those need to be ascended a little bit And waxed. So fifty three is going to go in first, and then fifty four like it on the outside. As far as I can go. Page number 15, turn it around from the other side. Uh, let's see. Only rotates one way and locks the other direction. Part number 51. There, right here, just one. For now, send the connection points and wax it. And then the same thing with the tooth matching the teeth on the other one. In my case, if the drum is on the left, that's going to be away from you. You insert it as far as it can go and matching the lines on the piece number 50. 
Next one is going to be B B3. That's the one with the little slot here, the tab facing away from you. And you put it as far as it can go. onto the assembly so it has to be like right next to the other drum now part number 51 again 52 and then 55 there on the bottom here a little sanding once again just to remove the connection points For the easier, uh, smoother ride, reducing the friction, applying the wax. All right, so 51 first. That's one little slot on here. Once again, same direction for the, actually 52's first. Perfect, nice and round. There is no tabs on there, so it goes all the way in. And then 51 with that connection towards the top. And that slot, once again, matching because not on the other side. And then part number 55, same thing with these little two dots, slots, matching the slots on the part itself. So nice continuous line. And then we insert B2 with the numbers digits facing the same direction all the way in and we lock all that sub assembly with 56 256 which are right here on the right hand side and 157 which is gonna be on the bottom right we're gonna sand and wax all around Just removing the connection points. That one doesn't really have to on 57 because it's on the inside there. It's not perfectly round, but 56 is R. And we lock that assembly 256, 157. Page number 16, take rubber bands, uh, that's the 30 millimeter diameter, one, and we lock this from rotation. two slots on there and I'm gonna go through these slots locking it kind of locking it in place and putting it aside right now our next step well not really on the side next step we're gonna take b1 uh with this little opening here that's where the b5 that we just assembled is gonna go right into and page number 17 on the other hands the, on the other side we lock it with part number 58 which is on board number two, a little bit to the right of the center line right here. Make sure your errors are shown direction of uh, 
on the counter uh, clockwise. And let's see, we do need to put a little bit of a wax on the gears. And put it on that locking, that mechanism in there. And we're done with B6. Uh, put it aside. Step number one on page number 17 to the right. Our parts number 60, 59 through 63. So some of them are coupled. So 59 top left corner of board number two. By the way, we're done with board number one. There is no, there's a couple of spare parts on there, but we can put it aside now, so it's not on the way anymore. All right, part number 59, 60 is gonna be on the right side. So it's a little star, 61 on the left. Sixty-two and one on the right, one on the left, and then sixty-three, also one on each side. Put it aside. Now we need to wax the sixty-threes. You don't need to remove the connection points because they're inside of the little grooves. to wax 61 with the teeth and 60 with the teeth put it all on 59 sequence that is shown on the page and then 264s also on board number two right at the center here uh, these are just like that with the little longer pieces facing towards you when the uh, gear like the full function gear 61 is on the left hand side so that's our b7 and b8 and we need to make two of those so one more sub assembly so part number 59 on the top right corner 62s Sixty-threes and two sixty-fours. Sixty-three needs a little waxing. So are the gears. Fifty one, squeeze them together, and then sixty fours. All right, done with page number seventeen, moving on to the page number eighteen, and we need number sixty five which is on board number two the b seven which doesn't matter at the end of the day which one is which goes into the first slot so you kind of insert it from the bottom and then 
squeeze it in and push it in from the back. And then the second one, we're doing the same thing. Kind of like bring it in diagonally from the bottom. Move it towards. It's going to kind of snap into the holes. And then you just press on the parts number 64 to get them in. So again, make sure they're sitting completely in on both sides. And we're done with that. Moving on to step number two. Uh, with these gears are facing away from you, that gets inserted into these two holes, the whole sub assembly. Just like this. Here we go. So they're going to sit, this gear is going to sit like right at the drums. Right? Did I insert it from the right way? And we're going to double check that. They need to fit right into the drums. Well, there's slots holes. We're correct. All right, so there's a uh, when the teeth on the gear and that like a four star gear uh, line up, they need to fit into those slots on the drums um, when you're lining up. So uh, pretty much if you have it like one, 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 zero, 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 they will fit right in. Now we need two more of the 30 millimeter. So the teeth need to interact. So it's parallel to the drums, which is what we're looking for here. We need two more rubber bands and these rubber bands are gonna go around the drums to keep them together so to make sure that these gears are sitting into their slots rather than falling out so you want to put a rubber bands on there just to keep them in place Right, so that's what we're looking for. Just keep it, keep it together. So I put two rubber bands, one on the first drum, second one on the second drum, uh, just to keep those gears inside there. Next step, we're on page number twenty. We're done with this part now. Um, part step number one on the right hand side. I'm gonna clean up the desk a little bit here. Uh, double check. We're still rocking and rolling. So step number one is uh, part number sixty six. Uh, let's see. So board number two. We're done with. Board number three. Part number sixty six is on the right hand side here number three there's two of them or we need two one spare and then part number 67 on the top right hand side that's our step one so these uh, these two holes that's where the part number three is gonna go into and then the circular part 
matching the holes. Um, these two holes matching these two. Right in. All the way in. I'm going to use my helping tool to make sure that parts number three are sitting there completely. Everything is nice and squeezed. And then parts number 68 for step number two. Uh, let's see, they're on board number four. Right in the center here. So this piece, that's what I was uh, referring to in the beginning. So this is internal cut. So you want to push it from the back. So the fibers stay on this piece rather than on the on your part. And then these components you can push from the front towards the back. Obviously we don't need this anymore. And that's going to be with the uh, holes facing towards you. Insert it right into that sub-assembly. As far as it can go. And that's our A4. Now that A4 gets inserted into A3, that's the one without the drum, right into this slot right here, just like that. And then you need part number 69, uh, board number three, this is a long piece here. Careful taking it out because it is fragile. And then make sure the design is on the outside. Insert it into the three holes that are on the side here. That's our A. Step number two, uh, part number, uh, page number 22. We're gonna move to the our other sub-assembly. And we need part number 70, which is on board number four on the bottom left. We don't need to wax it or anything. That goes over drums and make sure your teeth are counterclockwise. So that's gonna go over the drums, locking it and then we need to put that part A, the one that we just with this together with part B. So drum, make sure you match all the holes carefully. And now it's just wiggling around to get all these parts squeezed together. And let's double check, make sure it's all squeezed. Yeah, we all squeezed. Meaning that we can lock the sub-assembly together so we don't have to keep it open yet, uh, open anymore. So just match the holes and make sure everything just fits right in. And as you're matching them, make sure Everything is sitting in place the where, where it's supposed to sit. Now you go back on. My one of the parts fell out. Oh, here we go. Make sure all the holes are matching. There you go. And everything sits where it's supposed to sit. Just double check all your connection points. Make sure it's all the way in. And there you go. Step number three. We cut 
all three rubber bands off because it's all now in place and we no longer need it. And I guess my uh, exacto knife is a little dull. Okay. Not good. So I just got that. Or take him off. Hmm. Need a new exacto. And we can toss these rubber bands to the side because we don't need them anymore. Uh, next, we need to part number six and 71 on board number four. 71 is on the bottom there. And part number six right at the center. Uh, little wax on the outside here. And that circular portion. And then six is going to go through here, and that's going to go right on the inside here. Just like this. So it's going to be wobbling right here. Six is inside. Moving on to the page number 24. Put that sub assembly for aside for a split second. Step number five. We need parts number 74, 73. On board number three. Uh, 73. 74 has got two dots, gonna go on the bottom. And then 72's uh, on board number four. They're right here. And we need three of them. And they go through three holes that are there. Seventy three and seventy four. So I'm going to do seventy three first. Seventy four second. It's just easier to push these through single unit than three. And then seventy five, which is on board number four on the bottom right here. Uh, another mention there's some blemishes on here. This is natural from wood. They do not interfere with the design. The design will still look great, regardless of those. Uh, it'll look beautiful. Now this, uh, the holes on the right hand side, we just insert the, our sub assembly into the corresponding holes again. And I did these incorrectly. So there is a directionality. I was trying to figure out what I did wrong. So the smaller hole on the left when they're facing you, the larger hole on the right. Now that should work. I was wondering why is it not coming in? All right. Um, There we go. Perfectly locks onto the part number 75 now. The design is on the other side. And then we insert that in the step seven. We go on the right hand side, slot right here and slot right here. So we do the one that's on the larger side first or the bigger side. This is a pen holder and note holder. And then open it up a little bit to get it fit into the other hole and squeeze it in and we're all good with step number seven moving on to the page number 25 
and that's what I just did. Um, squeeze those in, just as uh, shows on the picture here, C1, we put it aside. And now we're on page 25, step number one on the right hand side, past the center. I need parts number 76, 77, and 63. They're all on board number three. So, 76. 77 is right here in the center. The center line to the right, above the middle. And 63 is going to be top right corner. So first we take 76, we insert 77 right before these little tabs. So these little tabs should be on the right hand side. Correct. All right, so there is a little, uh, okay. Now, there's a, one with a thicker tab, one with a thinner tab. So the thinner tab goes the one on the, on the 76. And then we insert the 63 on one end. Now we need a little rubber band, which is a 12 millimeter one, it's the smallest one. Uh, part number 78, which is right here. And we do a little tap Let's see, so uh, step number two, not really clear, but it looks like we are putting it on little tab right here on part number 76. We're grabbing it with a 78. And we're twist it, twisting it a little bit to get a, like, twisted rubber band. So there's a little pressure on it, I guess. Moving on to the page number. 26 and we insert that with the little tabs right into that slot so that you see the rubber band here pulling on that part and then we do another part number 76 which is going to go on the right and that one uh, same direction right into that slot before we can let it go a little bit and part another part number 78 and 63 All right, so 63 we're gonna put it on first and we do the same thing on this side grab a little rubber band millimeter 
slide it onto the little tab here on the part number 76. Hold it with your finger. And grab part number 78 with the little slot. Uh, wrap it on a rubber band and then rotate it and put it onto the sub assembly. Kind of like same thing as on the other side. And uh, step, that's step number 10. And then step number 11, we need that coins on 79 on board number three. Wax a little bit these ends on 76. And then we insert the coins right into these two little tabs with coins facing you. And it's gonna go into these uh, from the right as coins facing you. One sm small hole, second small hole, and third small hole. That's where the 76s are going into. And that's gonna be our C2. Uh, step number 27, these two parts, you're gonna go from the back into C1, into this uh, tab right here, and they're gonna get inserted into the center ones, these two. So, and so these parts will have to go against the drum like the on, on, right on the outside of it so like right underneath if you can see so that it's gonna go against the surface of the drum not the um, gears but you need to push them onto the inside there into the assembly Bring the coins up, insert it all the way in. Make sure your parts are seated properly. And all the way in, there we go. And then, last step, this thing goes right onto that tab. sure everything is seated properly and then we're moving on to the so that's step one we're done with this this and step uh, page number 28 we just need to put uh two parts number 80 those are on board number four tabs these gonna go from the other side so we need to move it onto the inside and, and insert it into the same holes from the inside I'm not sure how to properly explain it so need to move it in Oop. the inside portion first and 
and that stuff. So we need to go and inside, let's see. In this hole. There you go. So we need to insert it into this hole first and then kind of push it on the inside. Let's get your fingers in there without breaking any parts and components and slide it into the tab right here in the hole opening. And the same thing from here. We'll do the same thing. Front portion first. And then push it in. There we go. And that should go almost fit into the hole right away. And then push it all the way in. Whew. <laughs> We're done with the step number one, two, three, and four. So once again, insert it here first. That's the way I did it. And then push it in and get it right into the in between here and to the slots, two outside slots. And we're done, this is our C3 on page number 28. Okay, page uh, 29, step one. Uh, we have parts number 81 on board number four. There's that large piece right here. Uh, and then we got uh, part number six and 82. Uh, so 82 is on board number three, right at the center. And there's a spare right next to it, part number six, or there's one on the top. So either one um, should be okay to use. Also, there's part number six on uh, board number four right next to the 81. So there's plenty of them all around. Um, so uh, as you can see, board number three is done. We can also put it on a side. And uh, let's see, part number six. So this uh, A2 goes with the little tab to the right and facing away from you with the square hole being on the left for part number 81. And part number six, we're just inserting through that uh, round hole right in the bottom here. Uh, round hole of part 82 and obviously a rectangular hole of 81. Uh, now we need two rubber bands, uh, the thick ones that are in there, the thickest that you have. They're uh, five millimeter uh, wide 60 millimeter round uh, diameter so uh, and then we put it on the sides right here so we start with the uh, part in the middle that's a step three uh, two little slots no well, either way I mean either side so we start in the middle uh, we'll <coughs> when you hold the rubber band if you stretch it a little bit and push it through it'll actually go in very easy and then we'll do it on the second hole, same thing, stretch it and push it through. And then just tie it up to make sure that this is uh, nice and flat on here. Then we go into this uh, slot right here. Same thing, you hold it, stretch it and kind of squeeze it through that hole. Two fingers, stretch it out and push it in. There you go. Stretch it up a little bit. Then. Uh, make sure that end kind of goes around and uh, through the slot and then we do the same thing on the other side you need to push that through as you can see I'm stretching it actually probably easier to hold it with two fingers on the front two fingers on the back and kind of push it through that slot uh, just like this and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna go through it again. Uh, once again, we go same same side. We're doing uh, one slot here. So two fingers, I mean, two fingers on each side. Stretch it and 
push it through the hole. Same thing into the second hole. So make sure like on the bottom, you have only a small strip, rather the full rubber band. So you just tie it up, pull on it to get it tight. Same thing into this hole, pull it to get it tight, wrap it around, go on the other side. And we'll do the same thing. Here we go. And wrap it around. When it's done, so you have like three little spots on each side. Those are going to be your feet to make sure that the head cash register doesn't slide. And um, sitting right there. All right. So we're done with uh, part uh, page number 29, actually. And then we insert the cash register right into it. So um, cash register this facing away from you the register itself facing towards you and you insert it into the two let's see does it show anything yep so you insert it into these slots here these slots here these three slots go with these tabs and then to make sure this piece the hole the opening is right through that uh rectangular opening for the tab so and we just push it in line it up and slowly get all the tabs where they belong so you can you might need to stick your fingers inside there get these longer tabs fit into the holes and I'm just going to do it on the table because it's more comfortable, easier to do. All right, so I'm doing the three center ones. And then the two sides. And make sure all the sides are nice and fit. On both ends so it's nice and flat on both both ends all right so moving on to the page number 30 uh, we need a small 12 millimeter rubber band which is the smallest one that you have on here and that's gonna go these two little so one is visible both of them are visible so there's a slot here at the center that little rib center rib and then a little slot on this moving part here so we need to get it onto the rib first and then the other side get it on that little kind of squeeze your fingers in there or try to squeeze your fingers and get it onto the um, little tab. I think it's part 82. You can help yourself from the inside. And I'm going to try to see if I can use the helping tool just to push it. Here we go. All right, so just use the helping tool to get that uh, rubber band onto the little hook. And so now when you press on this little part, it should just jump back. Um, next step is number nine. Uh, we need parts number 83 and six. Uh, so 83 and six, both of those are on board number four. Once again, as I mentioned before, we have plenty of sixes all around. There's more coming on other boards so there's some extras too uh, and that goes into this little tiny hole right here so 83 with the tab sticking out we go through the smallest round hole uh, let's see if there's another 83 hold on Double checking. Yeah, there's a second 83, so two of them. Um, one goes through the left side. 
just like this. And then one goes on the right side. So 83 on board number four at the top. And then another six. And that goes on the same, similar location. Actually, no, the one on the same level. There's another hole. There is a longer hole there, uh, rectangular, and there is a square one a little bit below. So you, you want to put it into that one. So just on the right side, just like this. And we're done with page number 30. Moving on to the page number 31. Uh, step one are parts number 84 and 85 on board number four. And they're both on the right hand side there at the top. And then you connect them together one into another with two forks. Push them as far. Uh, let's see as they can go. So this goes into these holes. Yeah, so there's like a little slots and the tabs. So they should stick together and kind of like you won't be able to separate it. Now we need parts uh, number 86, 87 and 86 again. I would sand the surface just slightly. Maybe one run, two runs max, one side, and then the other side, all the way on, like on the ribs, all the way down. So that actually will make these parts go on easier. Now we need parts number 86, 87, and 86. They're all right here in the top of board number four. Uh, so 86, two of them, and 187. Uh, let's see, do we need doesn't look like we need anything, any wiping. Uh, so the thicker part, uh, that's where the side that you put those on. And then you push it as far as it can go. If it doesn't go very well, just push it back. Either send it a little bit, add a little bit of a wax. And that should do the trick. And you push it all the way as far as it can go. So as you can see, the sanding or and waxing did a little bit of a trick and then just goes in easier. There's like a little connection points. Those are the ones that are preventing it from going much easier. Uh, next part is 88 and 89. So 88 right here and then 89s are on the bottom of board number four. So we need to wax both of those. You might want to send it too, but it's up to you. I'm actually omitting the sending right now, but it's also a possibility. Now pay attention here, exclamation mark. So there's like a little tooth it should face towards you or if you look at the um, part, it should be counterclockwise. So you put that on the end. It doesn't go any further. And then you lock it with the uh, Port number 89. All right, so now we turn it around and then 286 and 87, same. And now also wax the ribs. As far as it can go. And then we put 90, 91, and 90 on the other end. Those are on board number five. So 98, two 90s are on the bottom there. And 91 would be a little bit uh, like halfway between the middle and the bottom on the right hand side. So let's do 90, 91, and 90 again. Once again, as far as it can go. And then 
88, which back on board number four at the top there. And let's see, does it say to wax it? We'll wax it a little bit as we did to wax the other 88. So I'll put a little bit of wax on there and the same thing. Let's see, facing the same direction and on the same side as the one we already installed. So just look at this one and match the little tooth. So in my case, it's facing away from me and that's as far as it goes. Moving on to the page number 32. Now we need to install three rubber bands. There are little thick ones that are 18 millimeter. One, two, three. I have one extra left for now. And then these go over these little wheels. So I'm gonna install them right at the center. One. Two, make sure they're not twisted and sitting nice and flat on the inner parts there, the flat parts. And we're done with step number seven on page number 32. Moving on to the step number eight. And here we insert it into the main assembly. So the hole here, you push that long rod through there first. Actually, let's move that part number 83 up. And then same here on the other side, we'll move that part up, split these open a little bit, and then insert that rod into the second hole on the opposite end, just like this. Now, uh, that's the step number nine, part number 33, to insert that part. And uh, let's see, did we miss a step? No, it doesn't look like we missed anything. So uh, now we insert part number 92 and 89 at the end of this rut. So uh, 92 is right at the top of board number four and 89 is that one below there, bottom, bottom of board number four. And uh, we'll wax part number 89. So 92's got a little two slots on there. So that's that's the one we're inserting here. And it should just stay. On the end. So there is a directionality because there's a cross with the longer and uh, shorter ends. So with the longer ends facing up and down, right? or you can rotate it so it does <laughs> i mean um so directionality matters and uh that's the point so uh if it doesn't fit one way you should see like a little tab sticking out there um just rotate it 90 degrees and it should fit the other way and then put the uh part number 89 right at the end there so it'll kind of lock it in within um the assembly all right moving on to the page number 34 Step number 10, we need part number 93, which is on board number five, left side here. And then 95, right above to the right a little bit, 295s, 294s. 94s are right here, almost at the center line, a little bit to the right on the bottom. So 94s are going on inside, they have one slot and then there's two slots or two marks on the 95s. And that goes first step here there we go 94 on the other side 95 and 96 or 95 <laughs> 96 is next step uh, 296s and 227s those are on board number four so 27s are right here And 96 is at the top right corner. 
So we don't need to wax the 96. We'll just put them at the ends. But we do need to wax. So I'm going to sand a little bit on the 27. Actually, you don't really need to because it's not, it doesn't look like it's a cylinder. So there's some, um, the connection points are inside the grooves. So it should be okay without sending in. So just make sure you wax it for easier operation. And then they put 27s on the ends. So this system is going to go into the, these little parts number 82. I guess 83s, sorry. So the, the moving, mo these two moving parts. So one end into one, and then the second end into the other one. You need to split it a little bit to fit it in. And it's it, it's sitting right there. Moving on to part, uh, page number 35. And that's actually uh, what I just did, step number 13. Now we put uh, part number 97 over these tabs on, 90, uh, on 83s. So part number 97 is on board number five at the top right. It's got a little bills drawn on there. I guess with a $10 nomination or 10 euros, whichever currency you're using. So, and then these gonna go on the little tabs of part number 83. Make sure that's the face down or errors are facing down. And then we just need to kind of support the part number 83 from the other end. Try to stick your fingers in there. It's kind of not too easy, but doable. and make sure the six didn't come out. So just press it in as far as it can go. Uh, so it should be like these tabs should be flat with the surface. We're done with page number 35. Moving on to the page number 36. Step number 14, we need parts number 27, 26, 98 and 27. So they are on board number four, two 27s at the bottom here. Both need to be waxed. Uh, uh, 126, actually we need to assemble it two times. So I'll take out all four 27s that we need. 226s and 298s and 98s on the right hand side right here. All right. So it looks like we used everything on this board number four. We're gonna put it aside. Now, wax the 27th. All around. And now we put it on in uh, 98. So 90, 98 is going to go through the center of the gear. Then we lock it on with the 27 on both ends. And that gear will also need to be waxed. So you do it on both. And then we wax the gear. all around wax is a little flag flaky I'm gonna keep it here so just in case if I run out I can use up the uh, bits and pieces all right, and uh, step number 16, we need part number 99. That's on board number five, the top left hand side here. Uh, part number 100 right next to it. 
and then parts number six there to the right and the right hand side two of them all right so uh let's see we line up that lock with the hole right here and then we insert So there's a rectangular hole on part number 99, two of them. So one should line up with that uh, slot and one's gonna run a, uh, line up with the round hole. And we just insert part number six in there. And then step number 17, we're gonna take our assembly, put these two uh, gears into the holes that you have on the side on the left hand side of the uh, register and then this part is going to go let's see over over these two gears that we just installed and then and over these two gears and this uh, little weird tab, weird looking tab, right? No, three gears, so one, two, three. Oh, okay, so that goes, the slot goes in there. There's an opening, two openings for these, or three openings for these tabs, so that's gonna go four, sorry four tabs and just put them squeeze them together the gears go in here in the slots just like this alrighty and we're done on that side sure everything is in place everything is sitting flat all right moving on to the page number 37 now we need a little rubber band which is a 12 millimeter that's the smallest one again and that one's gonna go it's gonna go into this slot right here and down onto this little uh, opening or slot in that uh, part number 99 that we just installed. And that's gonna be our D part. We're done with page number 37, moving on to the page number 38. Step number one are parts 101 and 102. They're at top right corner of board number five. Let's slide them together. And then uh, parts number 105, 103, 104, and 105. So they're all on the same board. So uh, let's see. They're going to be closer to the 103 is in the middle. 104 is right below it. And 105. Mm hmm. Let's see where 105s are at. 105s are right here uh, at the middle to the right of the center line. Pull one of those out and let's see, they're round. So I'm gonna send them slightly. And put a little bit of a wax. on both and these are gonna go on the shorter side out here of this little uh, rod and it should go all the way to the this higher large larger tab oh 
Oh, 103 first, sorry. Uh, made a mistake, so this little tab on the bottom, that one goes on first, then 104, then 105. So now they perfectly fit. Uh, now part number 106 and 107. They're on the same board, so 106 at the top center line right here, and then 107 is going to be bottom right. And so 106 goes in first. As far as it can go. And then 107. Push it next to 106. Then 108 and 109. 108 is right next to 106. And then 109 is going to be on the bottom right, to kind of like diagonally to the left of 107. So that's 108 and 109. The next step is 110 and 104. So 110 is right here at the center, and 104 is right next to it. All the way to the end as far as you can push it then 104 and 105 again so 104 bottom right and then 105 uh in the middle here to the right of the center line once again both of those are waxed and a little bit sending That's our E1, once we put these on. One of four, and then one of five is the smaller one. All the way in. All right, moving on to the page number 39. We're gonna put that aside. Need parts number 111, they're board number five, and 112 right next to it. That's to the left top. Uh, then part number 113 for the next step is right here. I'm going to do 111 with the tab facing towards you to the right. 112 with the hole away from you with this uh, rectangular hole towards the top. Taps on the bottom. I'm going to put it through the end hole here as far as it can go and then lock it onto the tabs. Then 113 is going to go over it with the thicker parts to the right and go into these two rectangular holes to lock it in and then we need part number 114 at the top right of board number five here and that one we just need oop, big part fill out gonna put it on the side uh, here we just wax a little bit that little and and here um, and that's gonna go into these two tabs kind of like upside down the hook facing up just like this as you can see uh, that's e2 next step is number 10 and we need parts number 115 116 and 41 so 115 uh, 116 is right here top right 115 is going to be on board number six on the bottom here And then 41s, 241s are right here. So uh, let's see. So this one, 115, we're holding with the hole away from you. The larger piece towards the top. 116 should be the flat portion should be facing down. So if you look at that slot right here, there's kind of like a circular and then flat. So that flat facing down. And then we insert the 41s through these two parts. Actually, I'm going to insert it through the 116 first and then through 115. The next step is put the E1 subassembly through here with the longer part through that hole as far as it can go. And then 
Step number 12, we use the E2 subassembly uh, through here into these little two tabs. So with part number 111 fitting into the two openings here. Locking it up. So and this should rotate right through these two slots, just like this. Well, now we're done with page number 39, moving on to the page number 40. We use part number 117 on board number five on the right hand side right here. And that part's gonna go to turn it upside down, uh, slots matching the other slots. It's gonna go right over these tabs, the four tabs on the side panels. Push it in as far as it can go. And step number 14, we need part number three through this little slot right here. And part number three is also on board number five. There's a little set of them right here. So we just need one. And we insert it right into here. I have it sticking out a little bit. Uh, as we need that to connect. So just make sure it's flat on the inside, sticking out a little bit on the side, although it's not showing on here. Uh, I think that would be a little bit easier to install it. Now that's gonna go Step number one on page 40 uh, with this uh, flat portion facing towards the top. That's going to go into the hole right here. That part number three is going to go in that little tiny hole. And then at the same time, we need to make sure that this little hook lines up with that uh, round piece right there. And so it does. And then I move up. That little opening, hold on. Hopefully you can see it. So the little uh, arm, we need to put part number three through it. Just like this. And now it's all in place. As you can see, this lines up or they're matching. That little part number three went through the hole on that arm that was hanging on the side there. And then it slid in the hole and now, now everything is it's nice and perfect. Just uh, make sure it doesn't fall off when you continue working. So that was the uh, last step that I was doing on page number 41. That's a uh, little part number three that you needed to push in, but I left it not pushed through, so I didn't have to push anything. I just wiggled it a little bit to get it on. And... Uh, that completes step number two. Moving on to the step number three, we need parts number 121, 119, 118, and 120. So 120, 118 right at the center here. 119 are two long pieces on the right-hand side in the, in the middle. And then 121 is also in the middle here, right at the center line. Now uh, 120 goes on the bottom. There's a longer and a shorter side. So the longer side facing to the left 118, same thing, longer side to the left, and then 119 with double, uh, actually, they're not into each other. So 119 is going to go into the longer, uh, I'm sorry, 120 is going to go into the longer piece, longer tab, and the shorter tab is going to go 118. And once again, make sure they are in the same direction, same length on both sides to fit it in properly. Once again, the longer on the left-hand side and then 121 is gonna go these two little rectangular holes or square holes, look like square, but most likely they're rectangles if you really measure them. They're gonna go into the tabs of parts number 19 there to lock that coin slot in with the arrows facing down. Page number 42. 
that gets onto the register and there's like a little tab on here and that's where we gonna insert that make sure you hold this piece so it doesn't fall off and then the bottom plate that has a tab and so it gets inserted into also the side hole right there now it's locking that system into the place and that's our f moving on to the page number 43 uh so uh step number one we need the long that big piece that fell out earlier from board number five is number 122 and then uh two parts 123 and 124 so 123 is over here bottom right and 24 and the bottom left so that bottom left with the longer uh sticking out tab here extension uh, facing to the right 124 is going to go into this bottom slot that's all the way on the right so that's our 124 and then 123 is going to go one into the slot right above it with the two little marks here and uh, two other marks and with the marks actually let's see not matching the other these two marks and the part 123 away uh, just like this and you push it through all the way through matching the marks on part number 123 with the part 122 next step is part number 125 so two threes I'm gonna take these out right away Put them aside and then 125 is right here in the middle so two three is gonna go so one 125 with that round piece facing to the left i'm gonna put threes i'll put threes into the 122 first And then 125 seconds so that little round piece should cover the whole just make sure it sits nice and flat and then 126 is going to go from the opposite side which is also on board number five to the right right in the middle here we're done with board number five so we can put it aside and that part number 126 is going to go into that second hole, like the hole that is right in the middle. Putting it like this. Step number four, we need part number 127. That would be on board number six, bottom right. Uh, no. Bottom left. Part number 26 is a little bit uh, to the right and above it. Uh, one uh, part number 27 let's see I have one spare on the other one there's a bunch of 27s here on that board number six so we take any one of those out we need two I'm gonna take that whole part out So we have 127, 126, and then 128. That's a little piece right at the center here on the bottom. So we need to wax the big gear. Small gear. Twenty sevens. And that's it. Now with uh, parts one twenty six on the right hand side, we put one twenty seven through this hole right here actually let's do 126 onto it first 
as far as ink can go, like it with 127. Push it through that first hole that is closest to you. And then 128 on the other side. And then liken it with the 27. So the gear's kind of wiggling in here. And then we need part number 129, which is in the top left here. This is step number five. With part number 129, we lock that uh, gear inside. So uh, let's see, this hole with the little slots, that's the one that's gonna lock it. And the, the other hole's gonna stick out. Let's see. Just like this. Wiggle the gear a little bit. Make sure it fits in right into the slot to hold that uh, little sub assembly there. All right, then push it in as far as it can go. Step number six, we need 130, which is on the bottom right. 131, a little bit above. Two of them there, this in the center. Uh, number 89, right here. And one more, 27. So shorter end, that's where the gear 131 goes on to. We need to wax it and I'm out of wax. So as I mentioned before, a great solution are the teacup candle in its in cups. Uh, you can, it's fairly soft so you can dip the gears in there. It's kind of like one, one of my favorite candles to use, but then we also kind of roll 127 in there and 89. So on the shorter end, 131 goes on the shorter end, like in it with 127. And then 89 goes on the other end, as far as it can go. That's our assembly where the small gears gear is at, that goes into the hole, not the first hole right next to it, but one above it, right there. And then 32, and I would wax a little bit of that surface right here, right around where the gear is gonna be spinning. And then part number 132, bottom, right of board number six that's gonna go right above it to like the gear and we will tap so it doesn't fall out uh so it's right over the gear done with page number 43 moving on to page number 44 here we got step number eight 27 two of them Board number six, part number 128, right here on the bottom, a little bit to the right of the center line, and then 131 right above it. 133 is on the bottom right. And uh, we wax the gears. Both of them. And to parts number 27. So 133, 131 is on the right, 128 is on the left, and then 27 is locking it. And that's gonna go in that little middle hole in between these two gears. 
with the larger one matching with the smaller just like this put it aside part number 134 and 135 and step 10 134 is that piece top right corner and 135 would be bottom right with the slot facing up we get that inserted right and on the right hand side of that 134 part so like little hook you hook it up and then you insert it into the hole kind of squeeze it in and you're done put it aside step number 11 Two parts number 27, part number which we'll need to wax, well, let's do it right away, part number 136, that's bottom right right here, part number 137 and 138, 137 right next to it and 138 all the way on the bottom. So 138 is perfect round, 137 is kind of like a hex. So that one's going to go on the shorter side of 136, like it went 127. And then the 138 is going to go on the other end, like it with 127. Now that's going to go through that bottom hole of uh, sub-assembly that we did in uh, step number 10. Just like this and then we put 139 140 and 139 at the end so there's 139s right here to the right a little below the middle and 140 is the smaller one of those so 139 first as far as it can go 140 and 139 again locking it all together step number 13 we're making sure that the, these gears are interacting, the small and the larger one. And then with the 139-140 combination facing up, we're putting that little sub-assembly here, a little bit under the angle. So these two holes are going to cover these gear. Larger one's going to go through this one. And then we're getting it through all the tabs. A little connection on the tips make sure all the holes all the gears are fitting correctly into the holes and squeeze it together locking everything in place So this spins freely, these gears, if you want to try them out, make sure they all rotating and there is no interference. I have some, but it's just a little uh, burr. Uh, so that's why you need to wax the gears and send them possibly, but we do have that mechanism moving. So we're good to go. This one's spinning too. So we're done with step number 13. As you can see, I can move this freely and the uh, next step is uh, 14 on page number 44 we need parts number 27 part number 142 which should be on board number six on the bottom left here and part number 141 is bottom right so uh, 127 waxed 141 with a shorter end that's where 142 is going to go on to make sure the teeth are facing or the openings are facing counterclockwise direction that's what the exclamation point is about push it as far as it can go and 127 lock it on the end moving on to the part page number 45 uh, part number 143 bottom left 131 it's right in the middle here on the right hand side there and then another 27. So one more 27. Plenty of those go to go around. 
Now we wax the gears, obviously. Uh, 143, I would send it a little bit and give, give it a wax as shown all around. And then 27, of course. Now that sub assembly 143 goes on first, as far as it can go to the end. Then 131, and then 127 at the end, just like this. Put it aside, part number 144, right in the middle, a little below middle at the center. 145 is going to be top left, and 146 way top left, all the way in the corner. 146 is round, so I'm gonna send it slightly and put a little bit of wax. And then 145 is gonna go into this little tab that is gonna be facing away from you to the, towards the bottom from the right hand side. And then 146 is gonna go on the end of it right here. Step number 17, we take our sub-assembly that we just did and that gear with the locking mechanism facing away, it's going to go into the slot right here, interacting with the gears here, as you can see. And once again, exclamation point in step 18, make sure these are facing, if you look at it, the uh, facing clockwise direction. And... Uh, this installation. Next part is we need 147, which is on board number six, which has teeth on there, and you need to make sure that it's also waxed on the outside. And once you do that, uh, make sure the teeth are facing, uh, let's see what direction, they're, they're gonna be facing counterclockwise direction to be able to lock it onto that little uh, locking mechanism. And then we put this little sub-assembly over it with the uh, part number 27, or no, 146 going through this slot right here at the top, just like this. So it fits right perfectly in here over the gear sub-assembly and that slot 146 sitting right here so once we're done with that we go from the other direction we put part number 148 which is right in the middle uh right at the center a little below the middle and 149 to lock it which is top left corner on board number six so that's gonna go with the tabs now let's see so this gear is gonna go through the hole um, that part's gonna lock onto this round piece right here so we kind of need to move it like this and then lock it with 149 which we gonna wax and that's gonna go on to part number 145 just like this and next is uh, step number 20. We need parts number 150, with the center middle to the left of the center, and 151 to the right of the center line, a little below the middle. Uh, so 150 is gonna lock it at the top here to tabs. To make sure it doesn't move any direction, and then 151 gonna lock it there's two tabs here and one here so it's kind of like a letter 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 a uh, pff, letter l that's gonna be locking it at the bottom make sure it sits all the way on and we're done with page number 45
Moving on to the page number 46, step number 21. Now we're looking on the tab facing you on the right hand side, part number 152 and 153, still on board number six. 152, got a hole on there. 153 is going to be at the top here. Uh, so let's see the hole facing down. I guess it wouldn't matter at this point of time. That goes on the little long extension here, as far as it can go. And then 153 goes on top of it with the hole matching that little slot and it should face bottom right, I guess, just like this. If you look in it, it should face to the right. Uh, once we do that, we need one of the longer, thinner one, the 60 millimeter. Um, question that I always have, how do you tie it? Very easy. Just take, put it on the one finger, wrap it around, uh, push it like, wrap it around your finger. Here you go. Push it to towards inside. And then that loop that you created goes through inside here. Then you grab onto the little tiny extension that you got and then you make make a knot and then as you pull that knot it gets smaller and then pull it as hard as you can without breaking it and you got a little knot on there so we need to get out get that extension out that's your rubber band so uh it's just approximation so you don't need too much and with this little uh, loop, let's see, we need to push it through. That loop should be inside. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna pull the rubber band onto the slot and kind of get that little knot inside the hole and put it back on just like this and then we put another 152 on top of it with the holes matching just like this now you got the rubber band sticking out and that rubber band's gonna go around this little pulley here and then over this part onto the little slot that is on the part just like this so you got a little tension in the rubber band we're done with the step number two on page number 46 or all the steps on page number 46 moving on to the page number 47 and now we need uh, parts number 154 they're on board number six at the uh, middle center here, right at the center. So we three of them. And then those gonna go onto these uh, drum. Make sure you're kind of centered, start it up, put it right into the sluts. And then uh, use your tool to kind of fit it in completely so it's nice and flat with the outside surface. On all three locations. Just like this. So it's nice and tight. Rubber band's not going to go anywhere anymore. And we're done. That's our part number G. So that G is going to go. We're going to take our register and with this pulley uh, towards the outside this little long piece towards you it's going to go on the right side of the register so you put the little three tabs on the bottom first uh, make sure these little rods are matching into the corresponding holes and then push it down and then kind of like down and towards the register to get it 
locked in onto the tabs that are sticking here. Let's see this side. There's some on the bottom here. Make sure it's flat on the bottom. Everything fits in, everything's here. We're good. This slot, this little um, drum or goes into the slot right here. This holes match up and this little portion, we need to make sure that we and also put it into the tab or, in the, or tab into the slot, just like this. So everything is now locked in place. So here, this piece goes correctly, everything, the slot tab right here. Um, little piece right here. There's two tabs here that fit in. And then obviously make sure it's all fits into the base piece. Uh, that's all covered in page number 48. And now page number 49, part number 155 and 27. So step three, those are 27 we still have here on the site and then 155 would be on board number seven uh, below the middle to the right of the center line wax it the gears wax port number 27 And that goes onto that bottom little tab. And you need to make sure that that gear 155 interlocks with the gear that is sticking out there. Push it all the way down and then 127 to lock it up. And that's our H. Uh, next step is number one on the right hand side here. Uh, parts number 157, 158, they're all on board number seven. So 157, two, 157 is 158. Uh, two 156s. And 156 is on the bottom right of the board. Now here we have a little bit of an offset on that little smaller um, circle. So that offset should go, it's very hard to see it. Actually, maybe no offset. There's offset on 158. So that uh, 157 should go on the bottom, then 158 on the top with that round off portion away from you. And then 157 on the top. I'm just checking everything's matching. So the directionality on 157 doesn't matter, which is all good. So we'll start with 156 through the, these two center holes. And 157, just make sure. A little wax would help. Because uh, it for me, it was going in a little bit too hard. But if you put a wax on 156, you should be all good. Now, once again, remember, a smaller uh, circle to the left. That little round off piece away from you. And part number 158 just like this and then one lock it up with 157 on the bottom just like that step number two is part number 159 and 160 159 on the bottom here to the right of the center line and 160 is on the to the left a little bit of the center at the top closer to the top Interlock these two pieces as far as they can go. Moving on to the page 50. 
Now we need 161 and 162. 161s are in the bottom right and 162 right at the center at the top of board number seven. We're gonna do 161 from both sides. Like in the subassembly together, and then 162 is going to go from that round off portion, and then that goes into this little subassembly with the key, the teeth facing towards you. That's going to go into the smaller holes from the right hand side, just like this creates your handle. Now, step number five H. We need to make sure that little the teeth are facing up by rotating this so that little uh, there's a little tooth right here also facing up right so as far as it can go you need to rotate it away from you and then we need part number 163, which is on board number six, actually no, probably six, at the top right here. That one goes on first, and to this uh, handle, I guess the little tab or extension, and then the handle is gonna go there, but we need to wax the gears, obviously. A little excessive wax and then the handle facing up we're gonna go on to the same tab as far as it can go just like this once again these facing up away uh, so if you rotate it away from you clockwise if you're looking at it and then the uh, handle goes up and uh, pretty much making sure that these gears are not interacting at this point of time when you're inserting next step is part number 164 step six on page number 51 164 would be found on board number eight right yes right at the center here and that's going to go into there's two tabs right next to each other a little bit diagonal it's going to go in the tab that is closer to the center of the assembly And then 165, which is also on board number eight, that's gonna go the hole that is away from the center line with the key facing away and up. So it's visible from the outside. It's gonna go into the second hole right there. And then we need three parts, number 166. Uh, they're all on board number seven on the right hand side there along the edge. And wiggle them out if you can take them out easily. And we need three of them for now. And those gonna go into the hole right here, right next to the handle. this little pulley behind it once again make sure they're inserted completely and then the third one's gonna go on the bottom here little hole uh, next step page number 52 we need another 166 board number seven bottom right or on the right hand side and that one's gonna go right in the hole on the front of the register just like this next uh, step number 10 we need parts number 169 168 and 167 on board number six 169 168 looks like a lock and 167, they all three together. 
169 on the bottom, 168, and then 167 goes through both of them. And that gets inserted onto 170. And 170, that's on the board number six, top right corner. It fell out, has, uh, let's see, gears here with the little extension going to the, the left side. So there's two holes on here, and that's where the lug goes into. And insert it in. Next step is part number 171, also on board number six, bottom uh, to the left, a little below the middle on here. Then we need another part number six, which is right here. Also on the same board. Either or, one is spare. We're done with board number six for now, so we can put it aside. So this piece one, 81 uh, round off piece goes right behind the lock and then the six goes in here so I'll pull the lock out a little bit actually makes it easier put one 171 through this hole right here that would be much easier than squeezing it in then put the lock back on Rotate a little bit that part and then 161. I'm gonna lock it from the back. Not from the front. Uh, page number 53. So that cover goes over the right hand side of the register and to the tabs one sixty six and now we need to slowly go one by one make sure all the tabs are fitting in the corresponding holes if they're not just adjust them a little bit it fits nice and tight at all the locations where the tabs are at and we're good to go next step is 14 part number 172 bottom left of board number seven and that one goes with this little cutouts towards the top all right at the bottom here on the right hand side of the register so wiggle the sides a little bit and then carefully rotate this piece pushing it past this uh, little dollar sign to make sure you don't break it off and insert it into the slots the diagonal slots from the top so it creates a nice smooth surface here and the next step are go from the left side right here we need parts number 173 where all of them are on board eight and there's four of them we need three for now and step 15. and they go into hole right here i guess you can you can't see it so um, i have the register the front face facing away from me first hole at the top from the front from that end and then one on the bottom here closer to me and one 
there is right by the rubber band there's another slot here so that's the third one page number 54 um another 173 and that one's gonna go into the front bottom And then 174, which is on board number seven. That piece gonna cover this side. Uh, match the holes. And one by one, get, get it on. So this uh, left side is done also. Next part, step number 18, part number 175. That's on the right hand side of board number seven. And that goes over, so the, there's like a slaughter here that goes on the left hand side of the register. Squeeze it in into the cover, kind of pulling the cover away a little bit and put the tab into the slot. And then into the other cover on the other side, on the right hand side. Making sure it's all nice and tight. Squeezed in. And we're done with page number 54, page number 55, which just did that. Step number 19, done. Uh, step number 20, we need part number 176. And that's on board number eight. 176 is right here, top right halfway between the middle and the top on the right hand side of the center line. So there's a um, thick tab and a thin tab. So the thick one's gonna go into that cover on the left hand side that is closer to the front. So the small one sticking out. Page number 56. We need part number 177, which is top right of board number eight. And that goes into the hole right here in the middle from inside. Just like this so two of them sticking out right here on the outside and we cover it with part number 178 we put 178 on top of it 178 would be on board number seven bottom center that's cash register and that goes over these little handles that we just put in press it from the back obviously cash register facing the correct direction not upside down or anything And insert it over so it says cash register right here and that's our part I moving on to the page number 57 we need part number 179 and 180 uh, 179 is on board number eight top left corner and 180 is right next to it to the right so uh, with the tab towards the back 180 goes from the back there just like this 181 goes on the right hand side 181 is going to be on board number seven there's two of them one fell out earlier so with the make sure you're putting it the correct way match to the corresponding tabs And fit it all in and the other side not yet now part number 182 or number eight on the top there nice and easy around uh, let's see uh, coins 
facing this direction. So this is the bottom. You need to make sure that it's facing towards the outside and insert it into the hole, slowly bending it a little bit. Just like this. And then 181 on the other side. So I would start with the bent portion first. And then squeeze all the rest of it. So this is our coin holder and that's our part J. Put it aside. Next one is 183, bottom left of board number eight. 184, which is to the right on the right hand side. And that goes, let's see, into the slot right here. So that we need to turn it upside down. So the slot is away from me and that goes from that side all the way in. From the same side, we got two parts, number 185. And these 185s, they're gonna be locked with part number six. So part number six is on board number eight, right in the middle. Obviously wax the gears nice and thick. And both, both gears and then put them on these two little tabs or holes locking it with number six. like that make sure they're freely spinning page number 58 port number 186 right at the center a little below the middle of board number eight port number 187 to the right of it two of them and then uh these hooks obviously there's only one direction you can insert them because of the location of these tabs and then part number six again that's gonna go right in the same sub assembly through that rectangular long hole so make sure that we have the movement like this and then it's gonna we're gonna lock it with part number six through that little slot there and make sure that it goes back and forth then we need part number 188 and 189 188 is to the left of the center line a little bit above the middle and then 189 is right above it to lock it up so the thick cylinder there going to go into the hole of part number 186 and then there's two holes right here that's where 189 is going to go into to lock it up or to keep it in place I should say then the next step we already have part number six fell out we need part number 190 a little above the middle to the right of the center line and then with that rectangular cutout facing close to towards you obviously there's only one way you can put it and then part number six to lock it up into the little hole on the left hand side just like this so you got this system going on here next step is uh, another small rubber band 
have only the thick one, but it still should work. It's going to go onto these little tabs and 189 into the opening. Just like this. So it gives a nice little stretch. the other one we can do because uh, I ran out of the 12 millimeter so there is a let's see 15 millimeter no 30 so I need a half of it so I'm just gonna do a little loop make a nut and cut it off there's always a solution once again if parts are missing incomplete send us email if you purchase it from us we'll replace it at no charge you purchased it elsewhere there's going to be a small shipping charge but we can still replace it for you but as i mentioned with this you can improvise and that's what i'm doing here We need a thinner rubber band. The thick one's not going to work. All right. So that's solved. K1 is complete. Next step is part, uh, step number one on the right hand side bottom, 58. We need part number 192 bottom right two th two number threes we have some here and some leftovers from other boards and part number 191 uh, which is right here to the right of the center line so with this uh, little tabs facing to the left, 182 is gonna go over it. And uh, let's see, tab like this into the furthermost holes. we'll do the other way so first we're gonna insert the threes into there and then put 192 over it oh we do need a little bit of a wax for the easier movement And then we put it over part number three. Squeeze it and make sure it's part number three is completely. I'm using my helping tool. So it's nice and smooth surface. So it sits completely beyond, like below the surface. Moving on to the page number 59. We turn it upside down. We need part number 193 and part number six. And 193, don't forget to wax the gears, teeth. And that's gonna go through this hole right here. The T is facing to the right. 
that's K2. Now K3, we need part number 194 on the left-hand side of board number 8. And then 193. And another 6, which we had fallen out. So I don't need to cut another one out or take another one out. And here with the little uh, circular tabs facing to the left, the tab facing towards you. Now we your um, teeth going to face to the left too. Bottommost hole. And then put number six in. That's going to be our K3. And then we need part K1 that we just assembled. Turn it upside down with the tabs facing you. We insert K3 that we just assembled into here. So the gear, these two gears will match the 185 and this one. Then we insert part number 195, which is right at the, to the left of the center in the middle here of board number eight. So that goes into the hole of part number 193 with the round of pieces going facing down, just like this. And then we put part number 196, actually now part number K2 on the other side on the left making sure that the gears interact the same way one ninety five matches with one ninety three rotate the gears a little bit just to make sure that you don't break them and squeeze everything together. Making sure that it's there is operation. That all the gears are operating so if I'm li out, as I'm lifting this you see that moving back so now it works nice and easy uh, part number 196 uh, and that one's gonna get there's two openings here tab that's gonna go at the front with the longer portion facing towards the left towards this because it's offset a little bit, well, you're going to be able to put it only one way. Double check, this works fine. And that's our K. Page 59 complete. Moving on to the page number 60, so that gets inserted into the register on the bottom there. tight but it goes in all the way in so everything is nice and tight and then the next one is J on it from the back into the to put it push it all the way in I guess let me pull it out without breaking it I 
because there's like a little locking mechanism for the money. We put that portion in there. should go all the way in but it doesn't checking what's the issue uh, we'll figure it out in a second and then the key 97 is a top right of board number eight and that goes in the back here where it says key. And now we're checking the application. All right, let's see. see so this is the operation of the coins now our coins are not inserted completely and we're checking the reason why it's not going all the way in some things are on the way determine what's on the way because I don't see anything sticking out past its points Checking all the surfaces there. Just to see where it would get stuck. There we go. So there is like a little, that little tab right here that's holding the coin thing. That's what was on the way to insert it completely. So now it goes in smoother. All right, I got some money here. So we're checking the mechanism. So I'll start before. Uh, let's check with the coins first. I'm gonna put the dollars aside. So the coins get inserted right here. I don't know if I can flip it or not, but there's a slot, you put it in. And then you rotate the handle. And then we'll count the coins into here. So you'll, you, the counter is gonna, as you put the coins in, the counter should go into the next digit. Go on, mine's a little off. So I'm on number five right now. Number six, number seven, and number eight. So now the coins are used. There's a number eight in here. Um, this is uh, whatever was set at four and one. But um, there, that uh, the first one's gonna be spinning and then obviously it's gonna spin like once you get to the next, so you get to the 10 and so on. Uh, so that's for the coins. The next one is for the... Um, money for the bills so this one you just do the handle about six to eight times you should see like a little rubber band binding up here this little uh, guy will be rotating there and then when you put the uh, bill in when you lift that little 
built and it didn't work let's try again uh maybe not enough winning two three four five six seven eight a little bit too much i can feel the pressure already so i put the bill in as i raise that little dollar bill sign it should get the coins in and let's double check trouble troubleshoot a little bit okay it's wound there we go all right i guess the handle has to be all the way up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten lock it then you insert the bill lift up that little thing and it should get the bill in so let's practice one two three four five six seven eight nine ten insert the bill oh gone all right let's try again one two four five six seven eight nine ten next bill line it up okay it needs to be straight one two three four five six eight nine ten make sure you get it in between the rollers there you go one two three four five six eight nine ten and the third one in in all right that works next step you go in the back and remember the code that we set up in the, uh, before so mine it's already set so you just rotate these little dials in uh they should go only one way and Mine was four, three, one. So I got my four, I got my three, and I got my one. So there's little slots. It's kind of hard to see, but um, you need to figure out which one is which. So once these three are lined up, then we can take the key out and we can press the little button here, which unlocks it. And then you can rotate it manually to open up the register. It also looks like it resets the uh, counter. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Counter is reset. We're going to take all the money out. As, as you can see, they're locked underneath this little lever too, which is kind of cool. And put it back in and rotate it the other direction to get it locked. Oh, by the way, uh, in order to pull the, looks like to pull the money out to the coins, you need to open up the register and then you can pull the coins out. Otherwise they're locked. Once the register is back in, it locks up. All right, what else? And uh, that's what we just did to pull it out. And the coins while the register is open. This is just the pictures, nothing on the back. All right, and here it says if it's more than three inches, we can, uh, instead of locking mechanism, we can pull it out and put the little uh, gears in there. So it will work a little better considering this is in millimeters more than three, 10. This is not more than two. So it should work for the uh, US money. I guess more than uh, three inches, 75 millimeters. Let's see, this is not gonna be 75, or is it? That's actually more than 75. So it, uh, 
I mean, it worked for me, but uh, if it doesn't, you can remove that little lever that locks, keeps the money, holds the money down, and that should work, right? 75 millimeters. Yeah, this is definitely more. Oh, we're talking the width. Uh, because it's a uh, locking mechanism, it's a little shorter than uh, three inches, or I mean, you cannot fit bills longer than that. So you can replace it with the gears in that way. So this one, we're at 70, actually exactly 75 millimeters. So if you need bigger money, which is not gonna happen in US, uh, you should be uh, able to remove that lever and that's instructions on page number 66. So anyway, uh, this completes our assembly for the cash register. Uh, as you can see, it was pretty fairly quick, uh, about three hours, uh, I'm assuming. And uh, if there are any parts that break during the assembly, you can always contact us for the replacement. Uh, once again, if you purchased it from us, it's going to be free replacement. If you purchased it elsewhere, it's going to be uh, $3.50. Uh, we can also contact the manufacturer on your behalf to uh, get the replacement parts. Uh, and uh, please visit uh, ugears.us for uh, more models. And um, most of the time we have everything available in stock. So once again, ugears.us, that's U-G-E-A-R-S.us. Uh, any questions, concerns, leave a comment or send us email and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Bye.